I wonder if Elvis lost heart. There's a story from late in his life before his death when he was playing the piano by himself. And one of his cronies came to him and said, how do you feel, boss? And he said, I feel alone. I wonder if Roberto Duran lost heart, boxer. Once in the middle of a match, he simply put up his hands and said, no moss, and walked out of the ring. I wonder if that Buffalo Bills player a few years ago that decided to retire at halftime lost heart. Do Christians lose heart sometimes? Get so discouraged that they feel like they can't go on? In fact, in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, the apostle begins, therefore we do not lose heart. Then he picks it up. A few verses later, we do not lose heart. Become discouraged. Discouragement can happen very easily when the pressures of life crowd down upon you and it seems like it's too much. You ever get tempted to lose heart? Have you lost heart? Things are too difficult, too many things at one time? In Luke chapter 18 and verse 1, Jesus says to pray always that they might not lose heart, or to pray and not lose heart, become discouraged. He's saying consistent prayer calls on the resources and riches of Christ to keep us strong and from discouragement. From his fullness we've all received, grace upon grace, it says, remember, in the Gospel of John. We're rooted and grounded in Christ like a building or a tree in Colossians. We live off of his unsearchable riches in Ephesians. In Christ are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge, again, Colossians. So it's sort of like a plant drawing its sustenance from its roots. We draw our sustenance from Christ in prayer. And maybe that's why Jesus prayed so much and taught the disciples too. He taught them that to always pray and not lose heart. This is your daily devotional for Tuesday. I hope you're doing well. hope you'll pray for the church and pray for me and Develop deep abiding times where you draw from Christ's resources, not become discouraged. Remember, Jesus said, blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Amen.